Hello, and today we're going to be solving some rational equations. I've split this into two videos. We've got some more basic examples in part one, and then some more advanced examples in part two. So let's look at our first example here. We want to solve this equation for t. So the first thing I'm going to do is just sort of clean up the way that this equation looks. Like, see how we've got uh, negative this whole fraction here, and then there's a negative 8 in the numerator. So those will sort of cancel each other out, uh, we could say, or undo each other, because negative negative 8 is just 8. So I'm just going to rewrite the equation is 8 over 3t minus 9 uh, equals 7. And I'm just giving myself some space here, because sort of the strategy for these is that we want to sort of eliminate all of the denominators or have everything have a denominator of 1. Like over here on the right hand side is just the number 7. You can think of that as 7 over 1. So that that's nice. I don't, I don't want anything in the denominator uh, other than 1. So over here on the left hand side we have a 3t minus 9 in the denominator. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3t minus 9. some parentheses going on here. So now look what happens. On the left hand side you have a 3t minus 9 in the denominator here and then you're multiplying by 3t minus 9. So 3t minus 9 divided by 3t minus 9 that's just 1 and 8 times 1 is just 8. So I've eliminated sort of the, the denominator so to speak. I'm just left with the denominator of 1. This is 8 over 1. Now on the right hand side I'm just going to use the distributive property here. So 7 times 3t is 21t and 7 times negative 9 is uh, negative 63. And now, look what I'm left with, just a, a plain old single variable equation, sort of algebra 1 territory, so to speak. So now I can just solve this. No problem. I'm going to add 63 to both sides. So I wind up with 71 on the left-hand side equals 21t. I'm going to divide both sides by 21. And I get that t equals 71 over 21. Now, the question is, can I reduce 71 over 21? Uh, no, because 71 and 21 do not share any common factors. In other words, 71 and 21, the only thing that divides both of them is 1. So that does not help me reduce that fraction at all. So that would be that would be my answer for t, 71 over 21. Now let's just look back at the original equation for a second. Because we need to be a little bit careful here because when you divide by 0, like anything divided by 0 is undefined. So I look back up here at this original equation. I have 8 divided by 3t minus 9. So I've got to be a little bit careful because this expression, the 3t minus 9, cannot equal 0. So we've got to be careful here because sometimes we can get answers for t that actually make the equation undefined. So, so thinking about this, what value of t would make the expression 3t minus 9 0? I'm just going to go up here to the side and sort of solve the equation 3t minus 9 equals 0. Add 9 to both sides. Get 3t equals 9 and divide both sides by 3. We get t equals 3. So, so really, t being equal to 3, that's the only value that would make the left hand side undefined. So, really, I want to think of this as like what can t not equal? t cannot equal 3, but that's not a problem because t is, is 71. 20 seconds, which is approximately like 3.381, you know, about. So, so this is totally fine. This, this 71 over 21 is a solution. is great. It, it works. It solves the equation. Um, you just always want to make sure that you look at your denominator and think, well, what values uh, of your variable would make the denominator zero? Those can definite. Those values can definitely not be solutions to the equation. So let's look. Let's look at another example here. 
we've got negative uh, 5p divided by the quantity 3p minus 8 equals 3. So I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 3p minus 8. And notice here, the 3p minus 8 and that 3p minus 8 would cancel. That's with negative 5p equals, again, distributive property, 9p minus 24. I want uh, all of the terms with p, so to speak, on the left-hand side of the equation. I'll subtract 9p from both sides. Now, so I get negative 14p equals negative 24. And then I can divide both sides by negative 14. So p equals 24 over 14, but I can reduce that because 24 and 14 are both divisible by 2. That's p is 12 sevenths. Now again, let's just look back here at the original equation. 3p minus 8 was in the denominator here, so, so what value of p would make the left-hand side undefined? I need to figure that out, so I'm going to go over here and solve the equation, 3p minus 8. Or rather, I'm solving like the value of p is such that 3p minus 8 cannot equal 0. Add 8 to both sides, so 3p cannot equal 8. And if you divide both sides by 3, p cannot equal 8 thirds, but that's okay because the answer that I got for p was not 8 thirds. Just remember, we're just checking to make sure that that 12 sevenths does not make uh, either side of the equation undefined when we're thinking about like uh, the, the denominator. That's all the denominators in the equation. Okay, let's look at our last example. Okay, three, the quantity 3k plus 4 divided by the quantity 2k minus 7. Uh, let's rewrite that here. I'm going to multiply both sides of the equation by 2k minus 7. So this 2k minus 7, those terms cancel. So we get 3k plus 4 equals 4k minus 14. And again, we need to isolate all of the sort of the k's on one side of the equation. So I'll, I'll subtract 3k from both sides here, leaving me with 4 equals 1k minus 14. And then I'll add 14 to both sides. I get 18 equals k for my answer. And when I look back up here, I'm totally fine because, I mean, what value of k will make uh, the left-hand side undefined? Well, it's 2k minus 7, so k can't be 3.5. But I got 18 for an answer, so great. So 18 checks out. That is not an extraneous solution. The value of 18 does not make either side of the equation undefined. Uh, it would solve the equation. If I went back and plugged in 18 for k, I would get 2 equals 2. Great. So there's a couple of examples of rational equations, and we're going to do a couple more advanced examples in the next video.